Meantime, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says negotiations with Russia will continue amid signs of a compromise at peace talks. Speaking in a video address, Zelensky said his priorities for negotiations were an end to the war with real guarantees for Ukraine security and the restoration of territorial integrity. Earlier on Wednesday, the Kremlin said negotiators were discussing a status for Ukraine similar to that of Austria or Sweden, both members of the European Union that are outside the NATO military alliance. Now, Zelensky has said Ukraine could accept international security guarantees that stopped short of its long-standing aim to join NATO, one of Russia's main demands before it invaded. Now, Zelensky also says 6,000 people have been evacuated from Mariupol, but that Russian mortar fire had wounded five Ukrainians, including two children, who were traveling in a convoy from the besieged city. Moscow denies targeting civilians. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.